Okay, people, so today the task I'm going to accomplish is replacing this rubber seal on the top of my Corvette. This is a 2005 Corvette C6. Um, the seal really isn't in that bad condition. If you look, it's starting to show some signs of aging, but it's not too bad. But the problem is, since I bought it, you can see right about here, it somehow got folded over or something, and uh, it's misshapen a little bit, and the car leaks right there. Drips a little water on in a passenger seat, and that's not a good thing. Um, thankfully, I keep the car garaged most of the time, so it's not really an issue, but I do like to drive it sometimes, and this is Florida, so, you know, you get caught in the rain periodically. So I'd like to not have it leak on my seat when that happens. Now I found videos for the C4 and the C5 Corvette, but none for the C6, so I'm gonna make one. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is start by removing uh, this little plastic plug here, and there's another one right up in here. I don't know if you can see it, poor lighting. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna remove those two, and then basically just start pulling this uh, gasket out of there. So from here, I'm just gonna start pulling the old seal out. I don't know if there's any adhesive on here or not, so we're gonna find out together. Let's just start pulling this bad boy. All right, it's a little tacky right there, so we're gonna have to clean that off. Yep, there's no glue or anything, so this actually looks like it's gonna be Fairly simple and straightforward job. Something up in there, I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, I'm just gonna go do, oh, there was another plastic piece here. So be aware of that. That's probably why it was giving me a little resistance there. So you've got three on each side. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move my way to the other side and do what I just did on both sides of the car. Um, with this business here, what I did was I put a rag there and then pried that out. So, this is probably kind of hard to see, I apologize for the lighting. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove this old tacky business that was there before from the previous seal because the new seal does have that on there. Um, you can see it right here. So the new seal has it. I'm not going to worry about leaving the old stuff on there. However, the new seal does not have new plugs. So you might want to try to grab, grab those from the dealer or save the old ones if they're not in too bad shape and reuse those possibly. So I'm just going to remove that stuff on both sides and then basically just lay this new seal in place and make sure everything gets down in the channel. Obviously, you've got this channel here. Um, it's got to sit down on those grooves. I kind of wiped it out and cleaned it. But uh, I'll show you that in a moment once I get to that step. For now, I'm just gonna clean all this stuff out and get ready for that new seal to go right, in place. So I've kind of just set this in position at the moment, but the next goal is to be getting this, I'm trying to show you this when I get my fingers in the way and everything else. But the channel down here that little lip right there has to go down into that channel. And then conversely on the other side, the same thing has to happen. There is also, this is gonna be a little tricky to show on camera, I apologize. Another little lip there that has to go down into the channel. So what I think I'm gonna do is put the plug in right here on this side to kind of hold it where it needs to be, work my way across and put the other one there on that side and then you're going to have to do the same thing down the sides over here. And then remove this little plastic that's kind of shielding the glue. And uh, put that all in position. So it's going to be a little bit of a trick getting all the stuff down on the channel like I was talking about. Like you can see right here. You've got to kind of push it down in there. I would recommend not using a screwdriver or anything like that to try to do it. If you have like a hard card for doing window tint, that might help kind of push it down in there and uh, get that into position. So actually this getting the seal in position is pretty simple. Basically the way I did it was I just um, used my hand to kind of push down 
and make sure it was seated in the rear position and then just kind of slide your finger along the front. So I was making sure that this was lined up in the rear first and then kind of pushing up this way and uh, getting it to seat in the front channel. And it just went in like a dream. I mean, it was easy. I went right down the side of the uh, car and uh, everything's lined right up. So I'm just gonna do the same thing here on the ends and uh, make sure I get my little plastic bits to hold it in and we're done. That was easy. But that's pretty much all there is to it. This is a pretty simple seal. I've actually had this seal laying around uh, in my spare bedroom op slash office for the last two years because I've been dreading doing it. Because I know over on the S10, um, I had to replace some of the seal that ran this way. You can see my paint's all coming off now, but I replaced that seal and that was all glued in with weather stripping glue. I assumed that this was the same business, but I guess I shouldn't have done that. This is a very simple seal to replace. And I uh, hope this motivates you to get it done yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, check out some of my other videos on my Corvette, my S10, the Jeep, and the Civic. Uh, so again, thank you for watching.